Hey guys, it's Forsaken Reality here, and in this one we're going to be implementing our climbing component, which is available on the marketplace, into a blank project. The integration process is basically the same across all assets, but I'll be doing integrations with um, other assets such as Survival Game Kit, Shooter Gun System, and Jigsaw Inventory. But for now, we're just going to be implementing it into a blank project, so I can show you the basic process that you would do across most assets. It shouldn't take too long at all. So without further ado, I'll get into that. So right here I have a climbing component created in 4.23. It's available in from 4.23 to 4.27. I'm going to be migrating this into a 4.26 project. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to this, migrate, click OK, go to your project content folder that you want to migrate it to, and then select the folder, to move it over, and the content should move over successfully. Then you can close out of this, open up that project, and now you have, I have my climbing component in here, my blank third person project. First thing I'm going to do is go to my project settings, input, create an action mapping for climbing. Now let's call that climb. I'll set that to spacebar. And next thing we're going to want to do is retarget our animations. You want to go to your character, the climbing component, open up the mannequin skeleton. If you don't and it go to your target manager. If you don't have that open, you want to click window and select your target manager. Select humanoid, save that. Then you want to go to your mannequin in your character in your project. Open up your skeleton. Set that to humanoid as well. Pulls out of this one. Just gonna browse back to the mannequin in the Climbing component in the meshes folder. I'm just gonna save just in case and right click, target to another UE4 mannequin, target we're targeting to your mannequin, and then it will target all the animations. Save. And all the animations should be moved over. Next thing we're gonna want to do is open up our character blueprint and we'll open up the climbing component character blueprint just to save a little bit of time first thing we're going to want to do is search up climbing component and add our component right here I'm just going to remove this, it's not a big deal if you do or not but I'm just going to do that so I'm going to copy it over it'll be named the same and move into our event graph Now we're going to want to, in our master character for the climbing component, select this on the begin clay and copy it. Or actually, before we do that, we'll want to copy this wall trace over first. So just copy that and paste it on the capsule here. Now I'll put that in there. Copy this, go to our event graph, control V, right click and play. And we'll plug this into our initialize character. And in your project, if you have a sprint variable, you'll want to plug that into to here. And you can just create this variable or leave it blank if you don't have it. Next thing we'll want to do is go to our inputs, which is in our event graph right here. Select this climb and copy this. Paste that in here. And that will 
will be the climbing input. The next thing we're going to want to do is, I'm just going to save. We're going to want to go to our animation blueprint. So we're going to open up the animation blueprint for the climbing component. And then we will go to our animation blueprint for our character. And we'll just want to go back to our anim graph. Right click and type in slot. So that it plays animations from the default slot that'll allow us to play montages. And that should be about everything for the climbing component to be set up and working. We can go to our climbing component maps and open up the showcase map. And here for testing, for world, change our character to our character. You have your own game mode. You can set those to most third person game mode. And that will spawn your character. And when you walk up, you can press the vault button, the climb button, and you will climb. And the sprinting variable, basically, if you're, you'll run this, your sprinting into here. And if you're, when you're sprinting, obviously you have shift, this, that will toggle this true. And it's just an example, if sprinting is pressed, right now I have it automatically always pressed, you'll automatically start climbing stuff as you run up to it. Playing the climbing animations. Also, we'll need to set up the on landed. So basically, you just need to come in here. You can select this and cop, select this event on landed and copy this whole thing like this. Go to your third person character, control V, paste that in, and that will perform your landing animations. The rest of this here is just a prototype testing out, just reducing health and stuff. And that's about it. Now, if you would also like the foot positioning to work, which is an extra thing I added in with the component, then simply you can come into your third person animation blueprint for the um, climbing component. You can select all, first thing we'll, do, we'll go to our event graph, select this right here, and copy that. Control V that in. want to adjust this to our character. And then we'll get our climbing component. And hold up control and you can drag all of those over into here. Get rid of this one. Create these variables here. And then you compile and save that. Connect this right here. And in your item graph, we will need a few things in here. So I copy all of this. Control V. 
control V. And you have a state machine plugged in here. You can take your state machine. And it doesn't already have it cache posed. Save to it. You can save one of those. Let's give that a name. And there's our main state machine. I'm just going to put that up on top. We already have our slot default created. We can just simply plug this in right here. There we go. That's just because it's not using the right ones there. Okay. I mean, locomotion, whatever you named yours, or whatever your name is, you're going to want to grab this. Copy this. And paste it down here. And one more thing we're going to want to do in our event graph. Is... Create the event blueprint initialize animation if it isn't already. And you don't already have a cast to your character, you can do that now. You might cast to your third person character or whatever your character is. Try get on owner. Drag out. Or we can get our character reference if it's here, but you can also drag out promote to a variable. And now we should have everything referencing everything properly. Let's test this out. And there we go. That's working. And we can vault and climb. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments below or join our Discord using the link in the description. Thanks, and I'll see you all in the next video.